Hey guys, so if you haven't been following me on Twitter for the last month or so, you won't have seen that Dan and I have been on tour, which has been incredible. Here's some of our insane tour bus lifestyle. What are you doing there, Phil? Well, I've got my handy zebra, <laughs> and I was about to have a little nap. Watch out. This is how you relax when you're on the road. I've got my traditional apple mould drink. It's November, that's inappropriate. <laughs> I know, I feel like I'm cheating on Christmas a little bit. <laughs> you are cheating on Christmas. But it's making me feel relaxed like I'm in a winter cave. Father Christmas is gonna come down the chimney and slap you. He is. For your own fidelity. Anyway, so I've got my zebra, mm. and then I've just been having little micro naps. I had a dream that there was an owl in the car. I don't know if that was a nightmare or that not. That would be distressing. <laughs> it would. Uh, yeah, but I think we've got about two hours to go before we get to Liverpool. Yay roads. The jewel of the north. Is that what they call it? I, I think so. I don't know. Stop zooming in on my face. How do you know? I can tell. Okay, it's more of a tour car. I've seen so much of the country and met loads of you guys and just had so much fun performing our show and I can't believe it's actually over. Might have a little tear if I think about it too much, but yeah, that is the end of the UK tour and you'll have to watch this space for any US slash worldwide tour news or surprises. <laughs> Cheeky wink. It's not really a cheeky wink if it's a cheeky wink after it, is it? Anyway, I've had a day back at home to sort out my apocalypse of a bedroom and it's made me realize that I have a small problem. It's actually hiding behind me right now. Look at those drawers. I think we need a little draw tour. So we've got socks, pants, stationery, time machines, clothes, 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 and a drawer of shame. Ooh. Recently, whenever I go into a shop, either real life or online, okay, mostly online, I will see something that I really don't need, but then my brain will say, hey, Bill, buy it. Hey, hey Phil, buy it. I'll try and fight this urge, but then it continues to say, Do it now, you need it. But you absolutely need this now, Philip. I'm not sure why my brain is slightly Welsh, by the way. P.S. Get some marshmallows while you're at it. But yeah, the drawer of shame is filled with loads of random crap that I've bought that I really don't need, so I thought I would show you some of the best ones. Grass flops. I sometimes miss having a garden, so I thought these would be the ultimate solution. Grass flip-flops. I mean, I thought, now I can walk around with freshly cut plastic grass under my feet. There could be nothing better. Unfortunately, they're like portable tickle machines. Like, this is the only example you're gonna get. That's as far as I can go. They're so ticklish! How could anyone wear these? I think I would actually fall down the stairs if I tried to wear these in the house. I can't do it. No. Back in the drawer of shame you go. Next on my item of failed purchases is the door gym. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be the best idea ever. Get strong, get ripped, quick. I thought I could assemble that on my drawer and look like that guy the next day. I could have a gym in my room. I could be playing Mario Kart while doing pull-ups. Bonus ab straps. What is an ab strap? Ab straps. Unfortunately, it never made its way out of the box because screwing something into your door requires effort and anything that requires more than 5% effort to exercise, Philly ain't gonna do it. So yeah, door gym, more like floor gym. Yeah, take that, ripped back man. Roar! Do I have abs now? So after some hard exercise, what more do you need than a bubble bath? And what a way to improve it with popcorn scented smelly gel bath. Use your imagination to create a smelly goo adventure. <laughs> I mean, I love popcorn, but I'm not sure it's the best idea to bathe in the scent of burnt, melted butter. Imagine hugging someone and they're just like, oh, you smell so buttery. I mean, you probably get chased by wasps or licked by strangers on a bus if you smell like popcorn. I think we need to test this out. So I've run a bath, here is the mysterious powder. Let's uh, pour it in. Looks like someone peed a lot in the bath. <laughs> right, let me mix this in. That's so weird, the bath is all jelly. Actually smells quite nice. Okay, I take my cynicism back, I'm gonna get in. BRB. Don't know why I said that in a creepy voice. That was weird. A fluffy capybara. I don't know why I bought this, but I remember it being really important at the time. Goodbye, old friend. Next is something I actually thought was a really good idea, which is the snack safe. And basically, if you're a person that eats all of the snacks in the house like me, you put your snacks in the snack safe, and then you can set a timer on here and then lock it for like a day so you don't eat all the sweets. My problem is I've never had the willpower to actually put my snacks inside the safe. So I've probably eaten them all by the time I've got back from the shop. But it's quite a clever gadget anyway. You just put your snack in the box and then you put the lid on and set the timer and press the button. And now it cannot be released. Oh, I thought that was four minutes. It's actually four hours. Sorry, buddy. Next thing on the list is the stress mushroom. Um, <laughs> basically, you're meant to squeeze it like this to release any tension. Um, why? 
Why? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop. So that was some of my pointless purchases. Have a look around your room and let me know if you've got any in the comments below. In other news, if you check out Dan's channel, we made a 3D audio trailer for our audiobook, which makes you feel like you're in the room with us, and it'll either blow your minds or completely freak you out. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, make sure to click here and go watch the video, as it's really cool. And there is a link to the audiobook in the description. It's like a four hour long podcast, so I'd really recommend giving it a listen. Anyway, hope you're all doing well, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.